RuneScape. It's a game that has kept us entertained for what seems a lifetime. From its humble, devious mud RuneScape classic roots to its current form of old school RuneScape, or whatever's happening over on RS3. Regardless of which version you have played, one thing that we've all enjoyed at some point in time is exploration. See, one of the things that makes RuneScape such an amazing game is the sheer amount of locations you can explore. Whether you're hiking in the mountains, or riding a magic carpet in the desert, or diving into the unknown, it was exciting to explore these new locations. And that's what I intend to rediscover today. I want to explore the forgotten locations across RuneScape, the places on the map you might not know about. Perhaps there's no reason to go there, or maybe you can't physically reach them. But one thing is for sure, we will be finding them today. First up, we have a place that we have been before, the Dorgish Khan Caves, a not so small civilization of cave goblins. These caves have mining spots, thieving locations, and even a trading minigame. But did you know that there is also an agility course? To access this course, you'll need to complete the quest Death to the Dorgishan and have 70 agility. You will also need to have 70 strength and 70 ranged if you want to take the grapple route, which gives experience in agility, strength, and ranged. And don't forget to bring a light source. The caves are dark after all. This course gives you 2,750 agility experience per lap, with an average XP per hour of around 60k, which is comparable to the Ardoin rooftop course. And the chance of getting the giant squirrel pet is around 15% higher, but of course you won't receive marks of grace. The next location we will explore is the Kilowatt Plain. Some of you may have been here for a Slayer task, but I'm sure that quite a few of you probably haven't. To access this location, you'll need to find Professor Odenstein, who is a mad scientist living on the top floor of Draenor Manor. Along with being the central character of the Ernest the Chicken quest, he's also casually the minder of an interdimensional rift to the Kilowatt Plane. Once you're here, you can find some kilowatts and storm clouds. Nothing much to do, but still quite an interesting location. Oh, and if you look over in this corner, you'll see a subscribe button. It must be assigned to subscribe to this channel. Now, did you know that in the Corsair Cove dungeon, if you travel over here, you can see the NPC Francis, who is mentioned during the Corsair Curse quest as being on a secret mission, digging towards the Ogress's bank vault. It cannot be accessed by a player, but you can see him digging if you use the Oculus Orb. I wonder if he'll ever make it into the vault. Now, here's a truly obscure one. You are probably familiar with the Slug Menace quest. Well, during that quest, there is a cutscene scene, and there's a location that you need to travel to to get to that cutscene. Most people who are mashing spacebar through the quest, like I did, probably left as soon as they could. But if you ran further into where the cutscene took place, there's this extremely bizarre looking room. There's nothing in it, but it definitely looks really interesting. I'm not sure if I can think of any other room in RuneScape that looks like this. Now, you're probably familiar with Clan Wars, but did you know the Clan Wars purple portal has a bunch of really interesting maps. They have the Wasteland, the Plateau, the Sylvan Glade, the Forsaken Quarry, Turrets, Clan Cup Arena, Soggy Swamp, Classic, Lumbridge Castle, and Falador Park. That's right, you and your crew can recreate the Falador Massacre in the Purple Portal. Who knew? And for members, you can also get the Ghastly Swamp map, North Leech Quell, Gridlock, and Ethereal. You can kind of see these maps from the White Portal. You can see Lumbridge, the Classic map, and the North Leech Quell. And I also noticed that the trees in the White Portal apparently grow off the side of the world. So there's that bit of unuseful information. How many of you have crafted Chaos Runes? Okay, well, how many of you have actually navigated the Chaos Altar Maze? I doubt there's many of you. Upon entering the ruins at level nine wilderness, you will find four levels of a chaotic maze, and chaotic is the right name for this, which leads to the altar. If you have completed the quest, What Lies Below, you can bypass the wilderness and parts of the maze by using a portal found in the Tunnel of Chaos. Now, the Tunnel of Chaos can be found under the Saradomen statue, northeast of Verok. If it's your first time entering the tunnel, you will need a bronze pickaxe, and you will still need a Chaos Talisman or Tiara. Talking about runecrafting altars, did you know that if you head south of the Law Altar on Entrana and use the Orb of Oculus, you were able to see the Frog Random Event Area, where players would have been taken to if they ignored the Frog Prince or Princess. I haven't been able to test this out, but apparently you can still access this place by telling the frogs you won't kiss them. So I'll throw this one to you guys. If you manage to get the frog random event,
content, please try rejecting them and let me know if it works. Hi, uh, just quickly, this is me from the future. I actually got the random event while editing this video. And check this out, you still get taken to the place in OSRS. It's kind of fun to just hop around as a frog, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and you can also see Evil Bob's Island from here, which is pretty cool. Now, I'm sure you know, or at least have heard about the Birthrop Games Room. But did you know that from the Games Room, there's a giant wall that is blocking you from an ongoing battle between gnomes and goblins? They seem to be stuck in time, constantly yelling at each other. There's also this cool little random swamp island, which is pretty nifty. Have you ever been to the Tower of Life? Well, you'd know that there's a lot of weird stuff down in the basement. But one thing in particular is this bizarre room that highlights the tile you were standing on. A blue colour will appear on the spot that you're standing, and when you leave the room, your character automatically says, that was weird. I mean, they're not wrong. If you head northeast of the Abyssal Sire Lair, you can actually see the Drill Sergeant random event area. But this goes even further. You can see some of the terrain that isn't normally visible from the random event itself. And if you look inside the bunkers, they are actually furnished. I just love these small details that we could have gone a lifetime without knowing. And of course, we can't have a Hidden Places video without the Enchanted Valley. A lot of you probably know about this one, but it's just such a cool part of the OSRS map. You can reach the valley by using the fairy ring code BKQ. You can find centaurs, stags, rabbits, and a wood dryad with a very uh, interesting face model. There's also aggressive level 159 rock golems that spawn here if you try to mine the rocks. And aggressive level 159 tree spirits that appear if you try to chop a tree. Definitely quite an interesting location. Well, I hope you enjoyed this hidden journey across the old school RuneScape map. If you like these kind of videos, please let me know. I really enjoyed making it. Please consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like to help with the algorithm. Well, okay, bye.